Dude, I absolutely love what the Giants have been doing since this draft started. Um, so, I actually wanted Jack Campbell uh, at number 25, but he ended up going to, I think he went to the, uh, did he go to the Lions? I think he went to the Lions. But we ended up getting Deontay Banks, who looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, obviously, with it being the first round, there's tons of people out there. There's tons of guys out there who, you know, are favorites, you know, obviously. Um, and Deontay Banks is a guy who I really think could finally be our shutdown corner that we've been clearly seeking for the past, what, five, six years? I mean, we tried with Eli Apple. Eli Apple's trash. We tried with DeAndre Baker. I don't even know where DeAndre Baker's even at. Um, and now we're trying with Deontay Banks. And this guy, what I like about him too is he's not like one of those little freaking zone corners either. Ones that be playing like 70 yards off the damn line of scrimmage and shit. You know, um, I'm talking about like, this guy's like fucking glue. You know, he's like duct tape. You know, if you look at his highlights, you look at his tape. I mean, this guy is a true aggressive man-to-man -man corner. I mean, just finds this guy, sticks to him, and then it's, you know what I mean? That's the type of damn corner. And I think that's the, with how blitz-friendly Wink Martindale is, that is the type of corner we need back there. I should say corners that we need back there. And that is, I swear, that is like 80% of the reason why we lost to Philadelphia in the playoffs the way we did. Because th there's just no one in our secondary that can play like, genuine man-to-man -man against anyone. To be honest, obviously, Adoree Jackson's really the only one you can trust with that, but, it, it, like, okay, I'm not even going to get into it, really. I'm just happy the dude's here in New York. I think him and Adoree Jackson, at least for a couple years at the most, is going to do wonders as a duel. Um, I'll tell you what, though. This, this second-round pick, though, is... John Michael Schmitz from Minnesota, to me, is probably my favorite pick so far. Um, because we have been... I have been asking for this damn team to draft the center for so long. And I'm sick and tired of every year we go into week one. And I have no clue who on earth is starting at center. Like... It's embarrassing, to be honest with you, because some of the best lines in the NFL has one of the better centers in the league. And somehow this team can't seem to wrap our head. We, we, we've, we've drafted two left tackles. We've drafted a whole bunch of damn guards and right tackles over the past, what, six, seven, eight years. But we've only really addressed the center position once in the draft, and it was with Weston Richburg, who, I mean, oh my goodness, could not stay healthy to save his life. So I love this John Michael Schmitz guy. Um, his name is kind of fun to say, not going to lie. But, I mean, this guy, man, is a, ma a massive mauler, 6'4", big, giant freaking center. I, I love I love this pick. I really do. Uh, not to mention, best center in the draft. And we ended up getting him in late in the second round. We didn't even have to trade up for him. I love it. Um, now, <laughs> how the hell did Jalen Hyatt... Okay, so I get why he would slip out of the first round. I mean, he really only had one good year, right? I mean, to be honest. Um... So I get not wanting to waste a first round pick on a guy who's not really that proven. But guys, really the second round? How the hell did he How did he fall out of the second fucking round? If you would have told me that we were gonna land Deontay Banks, a top corner in this draft class, John Michael Schmitz the best center in this damn draft class, and Jalen Hyatt, in that order, I would have laughed in your face. I love, love what Joe Shane is doing so far. Joe Shane, Brian Dabo, I keep hearing online that Brian Dabo was actually responsible for the, uh, the trade-up in the third round. I absolutely love 
what these two have been doing. Um, and this includes last year's pick too. I mean, uh, jury's still out on on Evan Neal because uh, Evan Neal was sad as hell this past damn season. But that's another thing too. Tomorrow, I want them to draft at least two damn tackles uh, because I don't trust Evan Neal. I'm sorry. But other than that, absolutely love what they've been doing. Keep up the good fucking work. And, uh, yeah, Pfft, finally got a damn center. I can't believe I'm looking look at me. I'm happier about the damn center position. This We have, like, no secondary, and I'm happier about the damn center pick than the fucking coin. Wow.